Hi guys. So I have another unboxing video. Um, I'm doing this in my spare bedroom, which is also the cat room. So you might get some snips, snippets of my three cats. That's Topaz. She's in the way. Go, go somewhere. Okay. Um, <laughs> go. Sorry. Okay. So, um, there she is. I have two things I'm going to go over. One is a spooky box. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually buckled down and done the, um, subscription yet, but over the Christmas break, they posted on like Instagram or something that they had a bunch of their, a bunch, like a collection of items that they had left over for like 80% off at the most. Um, so I went through and looked through all their sale items, and I found a lot of things that I liked for really, really cheap. And so I just kind of made my own little spooky box and paid the shipping. Um, because the shipping to America is about $20, $25. Um, but it was all stuff that I knew I'd like because I picked it out myself. I'm going to go through that, and then I also have my latest Ipsy bag. But here's the deal with both of these packages. Um, I have moved to different apartments every year since I started college and I got tired of having to redo my address um, every year and tell people my new address, stuff like that. So I just decided I would have all of my mail sent to my parents' house and I would just make a trip over there like every week to get my mail. Um, and once I establish a place I was going to stay for a while, then I would get my address changed to there. Um, so my parents have a dog that is quite a handful and he got a hold of both of these packages. And so they look awful and I'm really irritated about it. And it's embarrassing because it's my, only my second unboxing video, but I don't want to wait a whole nother month to have something to show you guys. So I'm going to show it to you anyway. All the products are fine, but the actual packaging looks terrible. Um, so I'm sorry in advance. So the first thing is the spooky box. It's just, it is just absolutely demolished. Like we finally found it in our neighbor's yard or in their neighbor's yard. So just pretend like it's actually put together. But, it, and it's unfortunate because I would have kept this box and done something with it. It's so cute. It's just black cardboard with like purple stars and bats everywhere. It's just the cutest pattern and I absolutely would have kept this for storage or something, but it's trash now. So I got that box and, um, these are all the items. Oh, sorry, I hit my camera. These are all the items that I got. So first, and I thought this was really nice. I guess they do this um, even with the stuff you order individually. They went ahead and put two of the suckers in that I know like each box, subscription box, comes with one automatically. Um, and so I don't know what months these two are from. I know I've seen, I think they're probably the, pa the last two most recent months because I feel like I've seen people show these. It's like a red and white one and it looks like maybe a, a green red and white one. So maybe this is from the December box and maybe this one was from like the November, the maybe in the January box. I don't know if, I don't know. But I got both suckers so I'm really excited to try those. Um, I hear lots of great things about them. Um, okay so the next thing that I ordered is I ordered this adorable little cat sleeping mask. Now, it has this spot right here, and I think this is from when that dog, and I love animals, like, I love animals. I have three cats and a dog, but I'm just irritated. I think this is somehow he opened something that like leaked onto it, but I'm sure I can wash this or honestly, I, it doesn't bother me that much. But anyway, it's this, it's lace. It's like a real light, dusty pink with furry ears. It looks like a cat. And it has a pouch on the back that you can put in these 
things, which are um, lavender. So it just smells so nice and herbal and flowery and so relaxing. And so uh, I decided I really wanted this. I love the smell of lavender and um, I thought it'd be nice for napping or when I get a headache or something like that. Ooh. Okay, so the next thing that I got is I ordered these adorable <laughs> um, skeleton hand clips. I'm gonna open these real quick. I have admired, like I've seen these on Facebook and Amazon for um, quite a while now and I've wanted a pair so bad and so when I was looking through all of their sale items and saw these for really cheap I just went ahead and got them. So they're just little white bone skeleton hands with like black paint to show all the different joints stuff like that. Um, they're just like a, a plasticky feel. And then they have these clips. Let's see if I can get the light to not be See, little clips on the back. So you can clip them into your hair if you want. Like I've seen people where they wear them like this and it just, oh, they're just so cute. Um, or I suppose you could really clip this to anything you wanted, but I will be using these for my hair. Um, maybe the rest of the year I'll clip them on something else. That's Gideon. <laughs> he just jumped up on my desk. Um, okay, so skeleton hand clips. And again, all of this I got, nothing was more than $5. Most of it was more $1 to $2. It was really cheap. Um, it came with just a little, like, thank you card. Um, that's, look, I mean, look at how cute. Ugh. I love their patterns and stuff. Okay, the next thing I got is this bubblegum brain soap. And I'm thinking this is maybe what leaked onto that mask. But, okay, first of all, it's just adorable. It's just a cute little brain. Look at it. It gets so, let's see if I can make it darker up here. And it, it smells like bubble, like just the most wonderful bubblegum scent. So this was so cheap. It was like, I think this was less than a dollar actually. And so I got this more because it was a good deal than anything. Um, I wonder, yeah, this definitely, the soap must have somehow leaked out. I don't know, but either way, if it's soap, it'll definitely come out. Um, okay. I also got another little hair, um, a hair clip and it has the same style clip on the back. And look, oh, it's so cute. It's black with little ghosties, and it says, like, in speech bubbles, boo, and little, like, splashes. Um, so that is going to look great in my hair. I, God, I think that's so cute. Um, but again, when it's not Halloween or it's not a time that I could wear this, like, I can't wear this to work because I'm an elementary school teacher, and Halloween's already... A difficult thing to manage at school at least in Texas and so I might just wear this like on a bag or I don't know clip it on a mirror or something and tell them but super cute um, okay the next thing I got is in this nice little bag that's like green with gold moons and stars all over it and it is washi tape oh there was like um, how cute there's um, confetti in it that's, oh, I've got cat hair. <laughs> There's little bats. There's like purple bats and black bats and silver bats. So I'm probably going to keep those because I can use that to decorate probably one of my um, swap, my swap box that I do. Um, I, I actually haven't explained that. So I do um, a swap box with um, a girl I met online who lives in England and her name is The Haunted Bat. She has a really awesome YouTube channel if you want to check it out. But every year we send each other, um, we just like kind of ask each other questions of what our Halloween theme is going to be that year, or what we're going to dress up as, or if we're trying to collect more of certain things. And we do, a, it's mostly I would say things that we make now, like we craft stuff to save money, but we also buy a few things. And then we um, ship it to each other. Um, when the time comes, I will definitely be making um, videos for it. But we have a while. 
Anyway, so this is um, washi tape that is little like a graveyard scene. There's like a purple graveyard scene. It has like spooky little trees and gravestones of different sizes. There's like a cat in one of the trees. Super cute. And then the same pattern on, well, no, not the same pattern. This one, is, it still has trees and headstones, but it has little ghosts um, floating around. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these. Probably again decorate um, my swap box, but I'll probably maybe use these for like scrapbooking or I do a lot of crafts where I make just different things to sell online. <laughs> There's Topaz. She's mesmerized. Um, but I thought these were so cute. Um, and then plus the little bag. Like, I can find a use for that. And then the last thing that I got is. I decided to try some of their like loose tea. Um, I've never tried loose tea before. When you buy tea here in America, it's usually already in a bag, um, like a tea bag, which I'm sure you can get loose tea, but I have not gone on that adventure yet. So I got this one because I thought it sounded the best. It's just black tea with dried raspberry pieces, rose petals, blackberry leaf, and natural flavors. It's from the Blood Moon box, it's called Blood Moon Tea. Um, and it's cute, like the box. But also, um, if you open it, it smells really nice. It smells like tea, but it also, I can smell the raspberries in it a lot. And I'm gonna try not to dump it everywhere. It has those dried rose petals in it that are, it just looks nice too. So I'll have to give that a try and let you guys know. Um, so that is my personally made spooky box and I'm very happy with everything that came. Um, maybe one day I'll actually sign up for the um, box subscription. It's just that at this point I got a lot of stuff that I know I liked for a lot cheaper than I would if I do the subscription even though none of it was a surprise. Um, so I'm sure one day I will but right now um, that's just a little beyond my budget, so maybe one day. Okay, so um, that's it. I'll probably go and just make a second video of my Ipsy bag. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna make another one. So if you're watching for Ipsy, go to the next video. Um, that's it, bye.